Do you have all these awesome PDFs saved on your computer, but don't know how to share those with your kids in Seesaw? Not anymore. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can change those PDFs into something easy for your students to manipulate within Seesaw. Stay tuned. Here I am in Teachers Pay Teachers, and I just purchased something off of here, and it is a PDF that I can't edit. But there's a page in this PDF that I would really love to have students work on within Seesaw, so I don't have to make a million copies. And also what I loved about this worksheet is that it was in color, and I know my kids love to have things in color, as do I. So I have my document open up, and here is the worksheet that I want them to be editing on top of. I don't need to print the whole thing. Now, this was a PDF, like I said. In Seesaw, it's really easy to edit on top of images, and it just makes everything very seamless within their responses. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to take a screenshot on a Microsoft computer. When you take a screenshot on an Apple, the steps will be slightly different. On Microsoft, you are gonna use the snipping tool and I have it saved here on the bottom of my toolbar. If you don't have your snipping tool available, you just go to the search and you search up snipping tool and it looks like this little icon with some scissors. So I'm going to open that up and I'm going to click new. I want to snip, I want to cut out something on my screen. So like I told you, I want this worksheet. So I'm cutting out that and it's right here for me. Now, I need to save this cutout as an image so I can easily put this into Seesaw. So click the little floppy disk and save. We're gonna save this as rock sample. And I usually save almost everything onto my desktop because I delete everything later. I don't like saving anything to my hard drive because if anything were to happen to my computer, it would be gone forever. So I'm actually gonna delete that later. So click save, and I have saved this snip as an image on my desktop. Now, go into Seesaw. I had Seesaw open. <laughs> ah, go to Seesaw. And you are going to click the plus sign. So I am a teacher, I'm gonna click my plus sign, and then I'm going to click create or share activity. Now you might see, I played around with this before. We're gonna do this again so you can see all the steps. Click Create New Activity, and then let's name this Rock Exploration. In Seesaw, what's great with activities, you can type out your directions, and then we can also read them. This is awesome for kids of all levels. No matter what, it's great for them to hear your voice and explain things. So we're just gonna say, read the rocks, books and record your thinking while you read, okay? And I could add my voice. You can also add some different types of instructions. This is really great. Like you can actually create a video and show them how to do this. So if students are absent, you can have them watch this. For this um, exploration, we're not going to do that. So this might be something I just show the kids in person. We're going to scroll down a bit and we're going to click add template for students responses. We're going to add the worksheet we want kids to work on. Now we're not going to click photo since we already took a photo. Now let's say you have a worksheet that is from a book you bought at Costco, which there are some really great worksheet books that you can find and you want to actually use that in Seesaw. Instead of doing the step that I showed you of taking a screenshot, because this was already digital, if you have an iPad, you could actually take a picture of that worksheet and then use that picture and put it in Seesaw. This also would work well, again, if you have a worksheet from a teammate from a couple years ago, you could take a picture of that worksheet and insert it this way, okay? So the goal is to make whatever you want students to work on an image. So we already have the image. We already took the picture. We're gonna click Add File. And I'm going to click Select from Computer because we saved it from our computer. 
We could drag it into here too, which works as well. I'm gonna click desktop because that's where I saved my image. And then we have it as rock sample and then click open. You can actually add nine more things. So if I wanted more worksheets for them to work on, this actually had another thing for them to do. I can insert more than one. So it could be like sending students a packet and this one, you could do this when you're sick. You can be in bed and make them an assignment. So when students have their sub, they can go into Seesaw and have what they need to work on. So awesome. So click the check mark if you want to. Um, you can add, so this is blank right now. Students are going to be adding their own labels to type in what they know. That now, this is your copy. So whatever you do on this, students will have access to that. So knowing my class, I probably already want to add tools. So I'm gonna to say type answer here. And I'm gonna add a label in each box for students to type in. And every time I do need to click the T, so type answer here, I click to the side, and I use the blue to do that. I can already add boxes for them to type in. So just knowing your class and their capabilities, what would work best for them? Would it be easier if you added a text box or is it easier if they bring a text box? So up to you. So let's pretend I filled all these in. It says type answer here. I'm going to click the check mark. It gives me a preview. Do I like everything on here? Do I need to add anything? This is what students will have. I'm good to go. I'm going to click the green check mark. And this is just saying right now, here's what I have. If I need to add anything else to my activity, I'm good. Save. And here's what my activity will look like. All right. If I need to go back and make changes, I'm looking at this and I made some mistakes. I can click the three dots, dot, dot, dot. I need more. And I can actually go back and edit. All right, if there's something, let's say I have multiple classes and they need different things, I can copy and edit. So maybe each variation is a little different. Or if I need to differentiate, maybe some students have the text boxes, other students may not. I can make variations of the same activity. So I want all my students to have the same for this um, purpose. I'm going to click share. This is the class I want to share it with. I could do individual students, again, kind of like that differentiation piece. I'm going to share with my one class, and it's just saying they're going to sign in, they're going to respond. So when students want to access this, they're going to click their activities, they're going to click add, and then they will click their name.